hey everyone welcome back to the channel i'm doing a video this morning i want to show the new uh, bypass that runs from uh, Ngwerimi area all the way to Sabo and uh, I actually came to see a friend and uh, so we, she's taking me through that route so I just want to show you guys so we just started and we're somewhere uh, on a, is it off Alkali road or somewhere okay something like that so let's go let's get to the new road and I will show you what it's like then before we get to the new road I just want to show you what some houses look like in this area um that is why i actually started the video before we got to the new road so that you guys can see what houses that are found in some certain parts of kaduna Nisa Fitness Gymnast Center or Gym Center or whatever. So I'm just back there. This is a dual. Whoa. I, I, okay, I, I think I'll find out what oh, the street is. I'm trying to find out if there's a name that I can share with you guys. Okay, what happened is that I will look for the name. If I find the name, I will put it in the description here. Or if I see it as we're going, I'll call out the name so you guys can know the name of the streets we're going to be joining here. Okay, we're making a U-turn. Wow, this is, I, I can't even imagine what street or road I am on right now because except I get the name, then I'll be able to remember the way it looked in the past, you know, but right now, I can't even imagine which road. Whoa. You don't understand. I'm trying to figure it. When you know a road was like a just normal small road and now all of a sudden is dual carriage it's 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 crazy and it's fine so we've gone up that particular road now we are joining okay let me see Pharmacy in front of us.
all that around. Okay. A lot of things have changed. I'm trying to like figure it out in my head, you know. <laughs> Why have taken a long time to visit a place, you know? <laughs> things just change. I'm telling you, things just change. Still not reach the road uh, that I want to really show the one that links links very me to uh, uh, the other part of the city, the Kaduna South. But we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Okay, for those of you who will be wondering where are we, we are in Ungwerimi, in Kaduna. Uh, we are passing through some roads, I, I can't remember, I don't know their names right now. So, but uh, as soon as I do, I will put that in the description of the video for you guys to see. And uh, we are trying to get to a road that takes us all the way to Kaduna South. It's a new bypass and that is the road I really wanted to show in this video but I, at the same time I want you guys to enjoy seeing the houses as we drive past some of them in Nungwarimi. Okay. Okay, this is around Rimi College. This is Degel. 
Okay. I have my bearings on my head right now. I know where we are. Two is in front of us. The secondary school I went to is not far from here, somewhere to the right. But actually, you can also get to when you get to the main road itself in front. Oh no, in front you can get to it taking this if you take the girl too. Alright. The roads in front of us is well made, well paved, paved, marked. I enjoy driving on roads like this. Driving on those bad roads kind of make your car squeak. <laughs> uh, especially when you have a car that has been used so many times going into difficult places like mine, you know. Wow, we're hitting it now. One of the reasons why I, I want to show this part of the city where they built, where they just constructed this new road is very simple. Is because uh, when roads are created like this, they create opportunities for people to develop that part of the city. You know, because when roads are being made or being done, they actually give people the chance to move and then so, uh, what I was saying was that, okay, let me, talk, let me just talk about the river here. This is River Kaduna. You can see to your right and to my right here and to my left. Uh, we're just going across the River Kaduna now. What I was trying to say before was this, that when a new road is being developed like this or being built, it creates the, uh, opportunities for people to start developing that part of the city. Because if they don't do that, people will not be really interested in moving to certain areas, right? Oh, look at people doing some work there. I want to show. Uh, it's like a quarry, a local quarry where people are manually uh, breaking the rocks. And uh, wow. Woo, that's nice to see. It's so nice to see. Anyway, so doing that gives opportunity. And you know, the truth about buildings is that when a house is being built, so many people benefit from it. Those that are making blocks, those that are selling building material, the laborers themselves, sells, and every other person, people who sell food, take food to that area or to the site. So it's like a chain reaction. A lot of people benefit from projects like that. So it, by creating new roads, you're creating new opportunities for people to also earn money. All right, let's start seeing some of the houses we can see from this part of the place here. If you take a look to the right hand side, you can see some fantastic uh, bu looking buildings to the right. Um, you can, let's see from here, you can see them. They actually look nice from afar here. And uh, it's good to see, really, it's good to see. It actually like tells you that, like, like what I was suggesting, that people start building when they see Roads are developed, uh, develop, uh, being built. People start also building houses. The streets are, there are street lights I can see, which is a fantastic thing. And uh, I don't know the name of this village here or what they call this place to my left, but it's a good thing to see that really the government has tried.
Going back to the construction thing I was talking about just now, people building, what happened is that this um, construction will offer opportunities or job opportunities to the locals in, in the area. You understand? Because when a house is being built, the people who have those skills that are living in those areas will come and solicit for jobs. Um, and uh, it's wise or it is advisable to help the local community by giving some of them jobs. You know, I know sometimes we bring in our old workmen from different places that we think or we know can help us achieve the ideas we have on our heads. But at the same time, for the ones that don't, doesn't require skilled, very skilled laborers, we can employ the people in those communities to also benefit from us being there. If I'm not mistaken, this road uh, will take us to NMPC Junction, where we'll take a right turn, take us to Sabo. If we take, if we go straight across, it will take us to uh, NMPC. The Nigerian Petroleum. If you don't know what it is, please Google it. You know what NMPC is? The uh, the Kaduna Refinery here, and. Uh, we know they've not been producing any uh, they've not been producing anything for for years i stand to be corrected if you think they have been please tell me what they have been producing so that i can also know because from what i have read and seen i don't think they've been doing anything well this structure is beautiful what it is ahmed musa neighborhood center that's nice nice look at the other one wow I'm telling you, it's nice to just see people doing good things, you know, in areas like this. If I'm not mistaken, I stand to be corrected. I think this road was constructed by the late governor of Kaduna State, Ibrahim Yakoa. Uh, I think he was the one that actually constructed this road. Some of the ones that are being done in the city right now has been done by the present governor, the former FCT minister, you know. I think we're getting close to uh, the NMPC junction. Uh, somewhere in front, I can see it from here, I think. Like uh, years ago, before I left the city of Kaduna, I bought some plots of land somewhere to my left here. Uh, in where, somewhere inside, I bought some plots and um, that was before I moved to Kaduna, but a couple of years ago, like three years ago, I actually thought I've lost the land because I had not been here for a long time. And somehow I went, I still found where it was. People have built almost round about me. 
But what I did was that I just got um, mason and board blocks and all that. So they built like a, a wall around the property. Still there. Someday we're going to build it. We're going to get it finished. <laughs> Nigeria Army Post Housing State. Wow, this is something we need to come and see. I know it has been here for years, but uh, the post, but then it didn't have a gate. It wasn't fenced like this. But it's nice to see that they fenced it and they now have a gate. Okay, we're almost at NMPC Junction. Okay, at this intersection, if you go straight ahead, you're actually going to NMPC. But we're actually taking a right turn, which will take us to Sabo, because that's where we're going to right now. All right, I really uh, appreciate you guys sitting and watching this video. I enjoyed making it because I wanted to show you guys who have not been to Kadna for a long time or who don't know the, the dot of Kadna as it is. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you've subscribed to my channel and if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button, a bell icon pops up, hit that also so you get notified anytime I put out a video. And you can follow me on my Instagram page, Big Wheels Photography and Big Wheels Picture This. Alright, see you guys in the very next one. Ciao. Subscribe, like, share, comment, see you in the next one.